Hello everybody and welcome to your 8th tutorial on C++ Made Easy HD and this tutorial we're going to be continuing on uh, doing some if statements so we've learned about if statements um, we, we've, we've learned about a lot of conditional operators so now it's time to get into some like if else statements okay uh, so uh, what we're going to do is we're going to make a program from this okay so we're gonna say that we're gonna say that if grade is greater than or equal to 80 then we're gonna say you got an A or you could do whatever range you wanna do right uh, if you, if in your country uh, say 90 or higher is a grade then by all means do that it's whatever so now we come up with the else right so now normally if in the else in the if and else statement if this is true uh then it runs this but if it's not true else then we run whatever whatever but say we want to have a lot of different um uh, things to choose from uh i'm gonna learn about other ways to do it with like switch and case but uh say say we want a different a lot of different things to choose from right we want to have um like we're checking for different grades so what we do is we have a else if statement so we're gonna say else if grade is greater than or equal to 70 and it will say you got a B so what is this saying right now okay so say the user inputted 79 okay uh, it's going to say that uh, it, um, it's going to check right here uh, 79 is not greater than or equal to 80 so this isn't going to be true but it says else if grade is greater than or equal to 70 so grade 79 is greater than 70 so therefore it's going to say that you got to be okay so if that is not true we're going to say else if grade is greater than or equal to 60 then we're going to say you got a C and we'll have another else if we're going to say if grade is greater than or equal to 50 then we're going to say see out you got a d and then last one's an else so we don't need anything if none of these statements are true then it's going to come down to here and we're going to say you failed okay and uh, that's going to be it so then this is how it's going to work so if grade is if grade is equal to 48 okay 40 is not greater than or equal to 80 so it's going to go to the else statement uh 48 is not greater than or equal to 70 so it's going to go this one it is not greater than or equal to 60 neither is it greater than or equal to the 50 so it's going to uh, go to else and say you failed we put in 65 65 is not greater than or equal to 80 it's not greater than or equal to 70 but it is greater than or equal to uh 60 so it's going to say you got to see now since they're all else of statements else if are kind of like they're they're linked to the first um um if statement so they're all linked together so if they if this statement is true then it ignores the rest of the other else of statement. So even though these are still true, it will ignore it. Okay. Now, if for instance, if we never had else if, so wait, let me run this. Let me run this to show you exactly what. So for so if I put in the value sixty nine. Oh yeah, no pun intended. But if I put in the value sixty nine, it says you got to see because it's not greater than or equal to eighty, not greater than or equal to seventy, but it is greater than uh 69 so it's a six is it is greater than 60 so it's gonna say you gotta see now if we didn't put else if what if we just put if okay if we put ifs all the way over here and yeah we run this so if i put 69 it's gonna say you gotta see and you gotta d why because 69 is greater than uh and then 60 and 69 is greater than 50 but once you put the else if if any of the statements are true then it ignores all of the other statements okay so we want to put all the else if backs else ifs back okay so uh, uh there we have it so if they 
so if this statement if this first statement is true it will ignore all the else statements if any of them are true then it ignores everything else if none of these statements are true then it goes to else and then it does that now you might be saying why did i do it this way why did i do it like there, there's all there's different ways to do it but let's look if we rearrange rearrange the way we did the, this code so what i want to do is i'm going to do a block comment and the reason why I'm showing you a different way is because in programming, if you only know how to program one way, uh, you won't get anywhere. You need to learn different methods. So for this way, I'm going to start from the lowest grade and go up. So I'm going to be, I'm going to say if grade is less than 50, then we're going to say you failed. And put end L. And then we're going to say else if grade is is greater than or equal to 50 and grade is less than or equal to uh, or we could say just less than 60 or we can if you want if you don't want to say greater than or equal to you could just say greater than 49 you know what I mean it doesn't it doesn't really matter how you go about it, it just has to be within the range 50 and 59 but I'll say if it's greater than or equal to 50 and less than 60 so the reason why we have to do this is because what if um what if the value we input is uh what if we never had this and statement we just said greater than or equal to 50. if the first number we inputted was if we input a number 80 it's going to come over here and say 80 is greater than or equal to 50. right so it's going to be like okay they got a d right but that's not right so we have to put in a range of numbers so we have to say if greater is less than 60. so it's going to do within a range then we're going to say you got a D and then we're going to have another else if we're going to say if grade is greater than or equal to uh, 60 and grade is less than 70 then we say you got a C and we have an else if grade is greater than or equal to 70 and grade is less than 80 then we say you got a D I mean sorry you got a B sorry and then we'll say else you got an A okay so if we run this program right now well, normally we we should do else of grade is greater than or equal to uh, eighty and less than a hundred because if we do any grade that's greater than a hundred, then we can uh, we could run into any errors. So we should do that. So we'll just say that else if, and that's not what we for this one we should have done that uh, for this as well. So we're gonna say if grade is greater than or equal to eighty, and grade is less than or equal to a hundred. Uh, then it says you got an A and we have no else okay so if we run this program so if I do anything over 100 nothing happens okay so if I do uh, 87 it says you got an A if I do 75 you got a B if I do 64 you got a C if I do 59, you got a D. Anything below that, uh, 45, you failed. Okay, so that is it for this tutorial. I hope you enjoyed this. Thanks for watching, and bye.